Hello my awesome cross stitching family and everybody new on my channel or maybe you like to watch diamond painting but also enjoy watching my video reviews of cross stitch we are continue to do our video review of uh, cross stitch canvases printed canvases from VIP cross stitch I upload video every week uh, we have already two previous weeks with their uh, review gorgeous gorgeous canvases check it out if you missed the videos and today we have another patch of cross stitch and we will start with this uh, little collection that i already reviewed uh, not long ago and i decided well if you remember i did the review of uh, tulips in a cone like a note uh, paper in here and I told you about that. Um, I did not expect this canvas uh, will be like so good. So I decided decided go ahead and order to another one. So you can purchase this canvas um, one by one, or you can purchase as a pack of three at once okay so there will be link uh, in the description box please check it out and go ahead and order if you like collect cross stitch canvases by the collection uh, that's a good idea to have all three of them maybe for somebody as a gift as a Christmas gift also will be nice collection of Christmas gift so let's start well what do you know we will start with sunflowers because I love sunflowers and then we will go with pinny all right Let's see what we have in here. Uh, our first design, it's called Notebooket, Notebooket, Sunflower, 11, oh no, that's a 14 count, uh, Ada, 26 by 36 centimeters. Uh, they are not the same size because I see this one is 27 by 36 and this one 26 by 36. I cannot remember what's the size for the tulips, but it should be around uh, this sizes that we have in here. And here's the actual canvas. I love the centers up there. It's going to be so juicy and the depth of these flowers looks gorgeous and of course the notes up there that would be lots of back stitching to create but in the end you will have such a beautiful bouquet of flowers okay let's see what we have how many colors in here uh, in full stitch 29 colors and we also have a back stitch in six colors They kind of like a long way, very, very partial. So you will have, uh, well, not much to stitch really because it's size, it feels like it's size too big, but because it's so much area in here is free of stitching that you can stitch this design very quick if you don't have too many of whips in your collection never mind me like i have probably more than 40 <laughs> whips that i work in time by time by switching them but that's the job of the reviewer many of them i started just to see the quality for your sake so you can see if you want to order or not and some of them i started because i really love designs but basically always if i order something i have to like it okay so one way or another i love them all and i'm so thankful to vip cross stitch to support my channel and provide this product for me to review uh, we do have a uh, two needles always in here and a ziplock bag and canvas is beautiful so let's see another one of the peony notebookate we say in canada bouquet and here it says bouquet so it's more like probably french pronunciation i would say right 14 count uh, 27 by 37 by 36 centimeters as i already said um 
in Ukrainian language that would be bouquet. It's very similar a word, right? Just a little bit different pronunciation. All right. Let's check this one first. Picture more close. Again, uh, looks like same notes. Well, I don't know, maybe they are different notes up there. But look at this beautiful uh, beanie flowers. And I don't know what's this, like a hydrangea maybe between them, this little, or maybe, no, maybe not hydrangea. Maybe it could be forget or not. Uh, maybe um, lilacs, I don't know, what's this little tiny purple flowers up there. But I love this, like a fullness of these flowers in here and gorgeous center. So we might well have a backstitch in here. Uh, well, of course, backstitch we have because we have notes and everything. So let's see how many colors. Okay, let's all now back in here. 36 colors in full stitch and then back stitch in five colors in here and here is the canvas this is how it looks like and oh this color like it's so nice and warm of all those pinks in here that's a beautiful palette and some purples or lilacs here and two needles yes colors is gorgeous very nice and a warm palette in here right beautiful so if we look them together i was looking uh, to bring today to this review my other one design but i do not remember uh, which box i put it and i couldn't find it so when you click on the link you will see uh, even a little bit different size uh, because like you know 27 or 26 but you definitely can steal a some and just frame it so it's even on a frame maybe cut a little bit corner or something but that's how they look like together okay my friends now we're gonna move to our next design and the next design is also i have flowers and also peony and that is this one bouquet of peony yellow yellow peony or peony peony how you call it i call peon in my language as you can see lots of similarity in our languages right here this basket and there's some kind of awesome gift up there in the box a gorgeous arrangement of flowers with the beautiful pink ribbon uh, the ribbon on the background of the yellow color looks so festive and cheery. Lovely design, don't you think? So we have uh, 14 count Ada. I think they all in here 14 today count. 37 by 34 centimeters. We have colors right in here. Full stitch. 30 colors that's a good number uh, half stitch we have in here two colors and also two colors in back stitch so half colors I mean half stitch we will have on the very very bottom for the shade of the box all the way up there on the bottom that's the half stitch so that would be very quick stitching up there and of course outline and everything um, good amount of back stitch in here beautiful yellow colors oh that's so so bright and cheery oh my goodness this is such a beautiful palette with yellow and green um, I don't remember last time I see like so many yellow beautiful colors and they like it's nice even though some flowers I think it's not as well it kind of but it's still not the same look like for example this palette and this palette yeah we do have some yellow colors in here but they are not so bright and cheery as i have some colors in here 
look at this beautiful it's almost like neon wow this color is good together delicious it's a eye candy for grown-ups so how many at this point I have gentlemen on my channel who like to cross stitch I know lots of gentlemen who like to diamond paint but do you do cross stitch some of you I know already but anymore we have a cross stitchers please comment look at that that is so nice like a lemon feels like we will stitch some lemons in here design uh, hold on hold on this this way okay here we go super easy breezy design very easy very easy and nice canvas in here simple crispy as oh my goodness it's so beautiful I don't know how many times I can say beautiful in one video, but it's just when it's beautiful, it's beautiful. There's nothing I can say. <laughs> it's gorgeous. That's another word. And now, uh, we're already in 11 minutes, and we have now Christmas time, winter time, celebration time. So, let's see what I have for you. We will start with, let me see, by the size. We will start with smaller and go up. 27 okay I guess this design will be first we have a Santa Santa with a horse Christmas old man and the horse that's the name for it I have to say this horse looks kind of weird to me and I wanted to see how this is going to look like close to my face 14 count Ada 27 by 41 centimeters um, okay, let me pull it out from the bag and we will talk about horse in here. So if you agree with me or not uh, I would say it's a little bit strange position of the horse that we see like almost just the front of him uh, And not like a back of the horse. I feel like it should be back of the horse sticking out in here with another two legs uh, but if he's staying like too straight uh, forward to you, the kind of like his back of the leg hiding behind center, but I think it still should be visible a little bit, so that's my concern. <laughs> but if you think it's correct, then it's correct. Okay, here it is. Look him close enough. Ooh, the juicy apple, that's what horse will get. He has a big wreath on his neck. Hmm interesting there you go oversized outfit on Santa where's his feet we cannot see his boots <laughs> so yeah the design in here a little bit uh, kind of like a whimsical to me I don't know um, yeah all right we have some snowflakes fallen here uh, I don't think that would be a French knot but never know let's check it out First, we will see um, colors. Okay, no, uh, we have uh, here only two kind of stitches: uh, full stitch in 34 colors, and then we have uh, four numbers in back stitch. Okay, got this red for the outfit of Santa. Or here it is, very nice and cute design, not big, will be quick to stitch. Look at those like layers of the colors, like big patches will be so fast to stitch up there. Just retread your, uh, you know, needle and go. Very easy. The only um, uh, wreath, no, still no confetti. Even wreath is the most difficult part in here. Well, how difficult? More changes of the colors, but look how easy that is. So you can imagine the whole canvas is just like super easy to stitch. Look, his Santa's class uh, jacket or coat. Um, nice, very easy canvas to stitch. No whatsoever like difficulty. Uh, two needle and here is our colors like a two palette some extras not extras but uh, another palette and then we have here is the colors that we need 
good chunk of red with some dark red for shading and there's a more red in here so Santa Claus clothes will be look very pretty oh yeah and for the horses um, for his wreath and hold on let me check this picture see like um, for the green we have a wreath and just decoration on a horse in here and Santa's hat so we will have in how many shades in here one two three four four colors of green so that will give us a good shading for the greenery all right sounds good to me in here right so that's a nice cute little canvas well a little how little let's call it medium maybe i don't know and then we are going for some sampler this one is so festive so chilly and so yummy Oh yeah, this sampler is yummy. Look at that. <laughs> it's so delicious in here. What do we have? Okay, first of all, let's see. Celebrating Christmas, it's called. 14 count, 43 by 32 centimeters. We have in here some awesome cocoa house or mocha chocolate, hot chocolate, I don't know, candy cane. Uh, Christmas decoration, houses, jars, snowmen, uh, looks like a lollipops and so much more. Uh, all kind of like in the sweets. I assume this is like a gingerbread house maybe. Uh, look at this beautiful cup with some cream on the top. Maybe this is hot chocolate with cream. Oh, delicious candy cane. This is cute and I can imagine how beautiful those threads probably going to look like all those red shades red and browns create beautiful um, kind of they put together I would say with the pop of turquoise or blue nice I like it so this is one of their newest collection in the store let's see colors 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 Here's colors in full stitch 33 colors. Uh, we do have a French knot in three colors. Um, and then we have back stitch in tons of colors. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 colors in back stitch. Uh, and yes, of course, the um, French knot will go as a decorative pieces for the house, like for the um, like a wreath and uh, some like for the sprinkles on the top. But very cheery, definitely celebrating Christmas. It's a good name for this design. Let's see. Of course, it's partial, so you can stitch by the elements or cross country like I do usually. Usually I do cross country, but if I finish that thread on this design, I don't start another same color and go over. I would pick another color and do finish this color and that just maybe my thread need to be finished somewhere else. And just like keep picking a design till it's finished and just keep going and going or just go totally eliminate color which very often i do that so let's see the canvas itself let's check this house first a roof up there a little bit like a checkerboard made um how about this cream puffy cream on the top looks okay to me not look complicated just keep going in one line and maybe a few of the singles I don't know if they have like a singles they look okay in here so that's pretty and now those juicy colors uh, where's this turquoise or oh yes not turquoise it's like a green um, yeah definitely minty kind of color oh my goodness that's so pretty let me get them together kind of or oh, four shades look how pretty those shades wow that's so gorgeous and then uh, yes lots of the 
brown colors, those beautiful pinkish. Nice. Look like a coral or pink, like a skin color. And then all this juicy and bright color on this side. Look at the lots of shades of red. Oh, this is going to be so festive. So beautiful to stitch around Christmas time. My friends, I say again, if I like a lot, a lot, a lot, which lots of I like, but this one is like some special that I would say, go ahead and get it. Because this is going to be such a beautiful addition to your house to frame in a season of cheering, season of Christmas, you know. This is uh, one of the beautiful um, cross stitch. Sometimes I want to create a video like, you know, to pick my the most favorites and create like a collection haul of favorites designs. But I don't know if I can do that because I have so many of favorites that <laughs> it would be really difficult to pick. Then we have one more left and this one is the biggest one. If you like big cross stitch, we call win winter evening, 14 count again, 54 by 43 centimeters. This is uh, for the blue color lovers, you know, this is, it's like, well, yes, evening, that, that's correct, when the sun go down and the snow turning into the blue shades because it's sunset, maybe somewhere could be pinkish, we will, which we have in here on the back, on the very back, a little bit like a lavender pinkish color because it's getting, you know, sun go down and color in beautiful pink and purple colors uh, sky. But then in here we already have a street lights is on, beautiful co colors of the lights inside of this uh, buildings that has a reflection on a water. I thought it's a little bit more uh, cold because it looks like a frosty trees and I'm surprised we have a water, not like a frozen ice. Unless it's ice so clear. Um, yeah, not very frozen little river up there. Uh, design, beautiful, magical. I think a uh, long, long time ago I downloaded this design as a PDF or just in picture printed somebody on a Pinterest I think I found this design just like a printed design um, many pages if I would love to stitch in counted so I downloaded that but now when I see this enjoy Sunday oh my god my heart was pumping I was like that's it <laughs> I have to have it because I truly truly love this design um, not sure what kind of city where this is maybe somewhere in UK this house I don't know where this could be do you recognize this where is this gorgeous place I don't know but it is beautiful there is a boat in here parked you see them boats and this side yeah very gorgeous oh i cannot wait to see the threads it's going to be like the starry night probably give me shivers to see all those blue colors because i really love blue colors um now full stitch 28 colors of full stitch uh, we do have more colors than just 28 because we still have in here in half stitch I see 29, 30 and 31. So all together we have 31 colors in here. Uh, but the extra colors go to the half stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 colors in half stitch. And that is all the sky as you can see. That's your half stitches. And then backstitch, uh, only four colors, and that would create all those branches of the tree. And of course, outlining building houses. 
uh, the boats, so the windows and doors, um, yeah. Very easy, I would say, backstitching here. It's like outlining roofs and uh, chimneys. Yeah, so we have some work to do in here. Now, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, I'm getting the chills. <laughs> I knew it's gonna happen. I'm getting the chills. Well, okay. One extra palette, but here just the one color. 31. Come on, focus. Give me a focus on this color. Come on, come on. Let's let's do this way. Close there. Nice beautiful gray color. And then paradise of blues and lavenders there and then this side we have more of blues lots of black gorgeous gorgeous blue palette look at that nice colors together Oh, the black. Yeah, actually, yes, I can see why lots of black because we do have some dark spaces and the trees and bridge and reflection of the bridge and here. Yeah, so that makes sense. Why? But lots of blue colors, see? Eh? They are gorgeous. And here is canvas. And here is canvas. Plus, sky is partial, so it's even more easy. You don't have to stitch all this white part in here. So the partial only go for the sky area. And you can see in here the back stitch of this tree kind of branches lightly print color in here. So because white, we don't have to stitch, so that will be easy. You don't have to look in a book. You just can follow the um, these lines to create your back stitch so that would be easy up there uh, let's see wow this is so easy canvas to stitch no confetti whatsoever um, very nice big patches of the colors continuous colors so you start thread and you finish you don't have to cut you know to retread um, the only where I can even find a space like I don't know No, there, there's no no confetti. I don't know even in here like on the edge in here a uh, Little bit mix of colors, but look everything is connected with each other So that is easy canvas to stitch and it is beautiful beautiful blue tones if you like blue designs Thread in here is so gorgeous, kind of remind me, like I say, Starry Night, but Starry Night has lots and lots of colors and they just like, oh, so juicy. So yeah, this design print in here, even picture in here, such a beautiful, and they give you idea, of course, you can frame it, you know, by white matting and then uh, blue frame. So I like how Joysan, they always do like kind of matching frames to give you idea how you can frame it or you can frame in a blue frame or maybe white frame. Black frame will go good too in here. Even white frame, like totally white. Yeah, so that, that's kind of like a good for you sample to, to figure out how you want to place a um, picture in a frame. Or you can make a custom framing but that's cost lots of money so uh, to find a framing go to like uh, value village discount stores that you can buy very cheap framing so usually if I need some frame I go to value village or the other one the store that you can buy good big size frame for 10 15 dollars instead of 200 you know a Michael store Wow, I have to say, such a gorgeous unboxing today. I love it. And yeah, I'm really kind of impressed with this one as well. I would say today, maybe this too is my favorite. But at the same time, the other one is also so pretty. Please comment. Let me know which design was your favorite from today's video unboxing. Uh, let me know if you're planning to order something of this uh, collection today. 
um, tell me if you already have some of this maybe you have already in your shopping cart and you are not sure if you should order or not and my video will help you to to do the decision right yes or no um, I have to say they're all fantastic well thanks again to the store for this beautiful product thank you all who survived to the end of this review and of course as always I will see you tomorrow because I upload every single day welcome all my new subscribers and welcome all who just thinking to subscribe or not hit that button already and subscribe <laughs> become my friend and we are stitching every Wednesday and every Sunday and the rest of the week mix you know reviews diamond paintings other stuff so basically there's something for everyone to like and if you want to become my friend i would love you to subscribe thank you so much and i will see you tomorrow